morning everyone and a welcome welcome to Natik in Oak Grove, California and NatikeYarns.com coming to you live on Saturday. It is the last day of our week um, and we have a super fun video for you guys this morning. I'm excited that I get to share these gorgeous kits with you guys and a couple other fun items. Um, while Boss Lady is on her way to the trade show to find more amazing goodies for the boutique. Um, so we will kick it off with talking about our grand prize while everybody is queuing up. I'm seeing the little, you know, number of people watching going up and up and up. So we have Danielle's pattern Vino Verde, which is a really fun stripe sequence of sheer and opaque that you get by pairing two different styles of yarn. So we have one skein of the Noro Sonata, which is a sport weight cotton blend that is more of a sport DK weight thickness in the kind of taupe and gold tones. And then that is paired with, for the sheer stripes, color 300 of the lusciously soft Concept Katia Cashmina, which has that kind of mauvey taupe to browns to this gorgeous like patina gold in the middle. So you'll get a nice ombre effect with that. The colors coordinate. And then this is enough to make more of a scarf width version of Vino Verde. It'll be about 11 inches wide. We have notes on page two about adjusting like how many stitches to cast on and what not to do on the schematic instructions because you're not making a convertible wrap anymore. You're making a scarf. So it's kind of a fun way to get to play with learning to modify a pattern a little bit too. And how you get entered into the grand prize is every time you make a purchase from the 16th through the 28th of February, you're going to get one entry. It's cumulative, so if you purchase four times, you get four entries. If you purchase 10 times, you get 10 entries. And we will draw to see who the lucky winner is on Wednesday, March 1st. Okay. And then, and tomorrow, daily. then we'll yeah. talk about our daily prize. Which is one skein of a luscious 100% um, Oh, Susan, I think we might need to change the pattern because this is 100% wool. Hold on. We were thinking this was a different yarn than it is. Yeah, you might not want to make a washcloth with that. No, I've got the, per <laughs> I've got the perfect thing for it. Oh, it's soft though. Let me look at the yardage. Um, 20. Cute. Yep, this will work. Okay. That's pretty. Susan, we're, we're going to do homegrown instead, so you can link that one. We'll save this one for another day. It looks just like the um, Cumulus, which is why we mm -hmm. just quickly went, oh yeah, that's cotton. No, this is 100% wool. It's super soft, actually. Um, so we're going to do, I'll show you on the computer while it prints. Um, the homegrown cowl for you, which Aww. is a really fun and easy one. Slip stitches, some yarn over, some purl two togethers. And the small and the medium can both be made within one skein, so you can take your pick of which size sounds more appealing to you. These are great patterns because they're just quick and you can just throw it on. You right, don't have to like quick too much. and easy. Who's gonna be the lucky okay. winner? So how you're gonna get how you're gonna get entered in to the daily drawing is by interacting with the video. All of our post-its are gone. So if you react to the video with any of these lovely bubbles here, then you're gonna get one entry per reaction. So thank you everyone for clicking away and filling up all these beautiful bubbles. Oh, okay. Thanks, computer. Um, then if you comment on the video, you'll get five entries per comment. And if you share the video to your stories, to your page, to your friends, wherever you share, 
you just come back to the video and comment shared to and where and you're going to get 11 entries per share then we come over to our handy dandy comment picker which is based off of the interactions from yesterday's video and see who our lucky winner is helen naren helen and look she shared it to the public see so That's that fantastic. sharing works yes and to get your items sharon is local no helen is not i mean local. sharon I don't know why I got Sharon on there, but if you're local, then just come on by the store and let us know you have a prize and we'll pull it out for you. If you're not local, just let us know next time you place an order and we will put it in your package for you. And we've got some Noro trade or tra not trade show, trunk show. Yeah, trunk show. Uh, and then well, the other one. Which yes. is what's on the Nora magazine. Perfect. We have every single garment from the huge. Nora magazine, minus four of them. Yeah, like. and it's in a huge box. And yeah, then it, we also have that one f that we borrowed from Iris. Iris. Yarns. This is, this is a, silky twist. It's so soft. And a beaded I know. silk and sequins. And it's funny because it's here. It's like it's a celebrity coat, you know, or something, <laughs> because it was online in New York. I really want to, really like, put that one on right now, too, because it's a little chilly in here anyways. So, it's like, can I just wear it, please? Um, oh, she's got that look. Look what, uh... Get the computer to cooperate with me. Ran here. over here to the, um, to the register area. $2.99. Yes, we're wearing our, our fabulous, our bracelets. fabulous bracelets today. Okay, computer seems to be in a mildly cooperative mood. There we go. Okay, so you guys saw yesterday Daniel wearing one of these. This is on the Spice Market, which is a beautiful design by Melanie Berg with garter stitch, there's some short rows, there's this really fun, I don't quite know what to call this stitch, but they look like little flowers oh, almost. Like if I turn it to where the stitches are right side up to you, don't they look like little flowers? Aww. Like little blooms. That's really cute. Very professionally done. <laughs> so this is obviously a Natique themed color palette, if you guys couldn't tell. And got our lovely the, pinks and greens. The beautiful kit that you're going to be able to use to make that. So I'm going to take it out because the colors always look better out of the plastic. Oh my god, that is so, so pretty. So your main color of smushy cashmere, which is 70% superwash merino, 20 cashmere, 10 nylon, 400 yards per skein. This is tumbleweed which is this gorgeous soft like creamy sand like, would you like some coffee with your cream kind of color i've seriously had starbucks make me coffees that are almost that color before yeah. and i'm like okay i did say light splash of milk so mm -hmm. how did we get to this color like y'all's light splash is a little different than mine no, I'd say um, it's this is a with cashmere because we like our scrumptiously soft fibers. Then we have this really fun, this is kind of a new green for us. Um, this is K Chameleon, which is this bright springy chartreuse green. Then we have Scorched Lime, one of our favorite darker, more avocado greens. I love the different colors in that one. And so in this kit, you have two bigger mini skeins. That's these two. Then we have four smaller mini skeins, starting with the gorgeous soft rose pink 
called Pinky. Okay, Heather, that we can do that. Looks like it has a halo. <laughs> then we have Liberation Light, which is one of our Natique exclusive colors. It's got that really bright hot pink and then shadows of that more bright fuchsia red pink. Oh, yes, so pretty. Then we have the original Liberation. You can see it's got more of that deeper fuchsia to magenta pink. And I was going to say beet, but the next color is beet. Yeah, this one's more <laughs> beet pink. This is Jocelyn, which is more what Danielle refers to as beet pink, kind of, you know, her favorite pink. So, oh, I feel, I think I mixed these up. I think they were supposed to go like that. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. So this is the Think Natique palette for obvious reasons. I'll just slide it on over to show you guys the other combination which is the one you guys saw Boss Lady wearing yesterday. Oh my God, this, this is gorgeous as well. So here it is in the shawl again, just in case you oh. did not watch yesterday. So pretty. Oh, Boss Lady, I think you popped on right after I said that about the different size but I will repeat it again after I show this color palette so this is fall colors so again you have your main color of tumbleweed <laughs> um, then we have for your two bigger skeins, mini skeins, we're starting with Amber Glass. Oh, that's pretty. It's a little bit more golden than it's showing up, showing yeah. up kind of green on here. It is not green. It has the slightest green leaning, like that patina kind of look, but it is not green. It is definitely a gold. Let's see. Then we have Gold Experience, which is a little more coppery. So these are your two bigger mini skeins. They are 134 yards each. Then we have in the four smaller mini skeins, which are 100 yards each, we have Tex-Mex, that gorgeous rust orange. Leia Rose, which is this gorgeous dusty pink. I still love that color. I did my no panic sweater out of that this is one of my favorite pinks of theirs and we don't get to see it very often this is fancy hmm. it's like muted magenta yeah it's got that like slightly gray dusty tone to it but still a really rich jewel tone pink the camera is washing it out a little bit on my monitor it is way richer than it when you're looking at it in person then last but not least, this gorgeous deep violet called Shadow Box. Wow. Okay, that's my favorite. The Fall Colors palette? Yeah. So as far as, as Danielle asked, which color will you choose? Are you a Fall Colors person or are you a Think Natique person? I mean, I'm both, but... Well, I'm asking them too. I know. <laughs> So while you guys are answering the question of which color you have to have, a recap of the yarn itself. You have a full skein. It's all smushy cashmere, which is the merino cashmere nylon blend. The full skein is tumbleweed, which is 400 yards per skein. And then your minis, you have your first two colors are a little bit bigger mini skeins. They are 134 yards each. And then your last four colors are smaller mini skeins. They are 100 yards each. And what you want to do, like 
if you don't want them in this exact ombre order, you can switch them, but you can only switch these two with these two, and you can only switch these four with these four because there is that 34 yards difference. So if you were to switch this and this, it you're gonna work. run out of this too soon. Like it's not gonna make it. So if you wanna change your color order, you can, just make sure you only change between the skeins that are the same size. So if you don't want an ombre and you want a little more random stripe look to it, only switch these two within these two, only switch these four within these four, and same for the pink and green combo. Like you can only switch the pinks with the pinks and the greens with the greens. And I will show the shawls again real quick for you. And this is a full kit. Well, there's a lot of boats going on in the comments. <laughs> so far, nobody has been able to pick just one. So here's the Think Natik combo, all knitted up. And see how the green stripes are a little bit bigger? That's why you need the more yardage. Yeah, you will regret it if you switch the green. Yes. And then the fall colors palette. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And we're also selling these at Stitches. Yes, but these are one of our Stitches items. And so we have only released a few of them for you guys for in to store. bag now. Uh, Kate, it's not fiddly. The, the best trick we can recommend with this flower stitch is the row that you do the flower stitch on, you use one size larger needle than you're knitting the rest of the shawl with and then you switch back to your main needle on your return row, and it makes the stitches just enough looser to um, be able to get into the stitches nice and easy. And I highly recommend the Chogu Twist needles for this project because they have that nice fine point. When you're doing a stitch that runs a little bit tighter, it makes it much easier to do. Chew, excuse me. Um, yes, we absolutely can wear it like the one that I'm wearing. So let me undo my pretty purple scarf cuff here. And take off my shawl. Okay, it's a little too cold in here for the <laughs> Okay, so, and this is how you actually wear them like this too, typically, is just hold the ends out switch them behind you, drape them back around. There's not really an exact science to it. And then you bring it around. Choke it. <laughs> I don't know why I have such a hard time lining up snaps when I'm on camera. I can, yeah. it's like, I can't see when I'm doing it not on camera either, but so you just, Snap it and voila. Amazing. Got these cute little tails hanging down. It does go with what you're wearing today. Yes, it does. You do if have I to paint switch the paint out, too. if I were to switch out like my turquoise bracelet for maybe an orange one, it would go even better with my bracelets then too. Mm -hmm. Right? Like coordinate your jewelry to your scarves. Okay. If you're not going to stitches, we have a couple here. To what we we're yeah. wearing, so I need to warm back up. <laughs> so let me shift the beautiful spice market kit behind me here. There are those beautiful bracelets we were talking about. A couple of the orange and pink ones left. And then we will talk about the other lovely items that we have this morning. One moment. for these. I know that I 
I like accessories. Like I was really excited on Thursday doing the scarf puffs and the row counter chains. I like the little stuff. So I'm really excited for these. These are another item that is coming to stitches that we're debuting early for you guys. So we have these fantastic little tins that are class supplies. Really they're your essential accessories for your projects. So with the tin, you get one of our brand new um, faux leather, gorgeous pink tape measures with our Damn Lamb Yarn Ball logo stamped into it. And they're the pull tab style tape measure with inches on one side. They go all the way up to 60 inches. It's pretty good for a little one. And then centimeters on the other side, which it goes up to 150 centimeters. And here's a little detail that, okay, so you just squeeze the middle to retract, but here's a little detail that I love on these that the plastic ones, all of mine break over time, is the way the plastic is built, it snaps right here. But these, because they're this thick um, faux leather and it's wrapped around and riveted, these are gonna last forever. Like this is going to hold up to a lot of use. Pulling. They may not be able to hold up to a three-year-old using it as a kite. I've heard those stories. Or of the, the strange thing. things, you know, they flail them around like a lasso. You know, they won't hold up to the dog eating them, but they will hold up to proper use for a really long time. I love the way this is made. This is one of my favorite items that we got in the stitches stuff. Then also in the tin, we pop it open. We have some fabulous pink folding scissors. So you just slide these out and they're new. So they're a little stiff and fold. Ooh, these are, can you guys hear that? Oh, nice and sharp. Good scissors. They've got a good hmm. tip on them. Airplane safe. Yes, they are airplane safe. They fit within the parameters. And I feel like, I love when they're new and they're kind of stiff because this does go away over time. Um, but that kind of tells me that they're well made because the loose ones fall apart really fast. Yes. Uh, the, the tips are all folded up inside. So on their safe. scanners, they're not even gonna realize you have scissors really. Um, then we have some handy locking stitch markers. These are great for crochet. They're great for when you drop a stitch and are like, I'm just going to need to secure that for later. <laughs> um, they're great for marking different things. Like if you need to mark how many rows you've done, locking markers serve so many purposes. They can make a small stitch holder in a pinch if you're like, oh, because like a lot of Stephen West shawls will have you put like three stitches on hold. This is perfect for a small stitch hold like that because who wants to try to put a great big stitch holder on three stitches and then have all that extra flopping around. So you get a whole rainbow of locking stitch markers, a tapestry needle, and then these really fun um, like AB finish iridescent stitch marker rings. These are metal rings that are electroplated to create this gorgeous iridescent finish on them. You can see there's purples and golds. And then, so there's the small ones and then there's the large ones. So you can fit a wider range of needle sizes than if we had only included one size. Um, and when you think about like the cost of the things that add into a set like this, um, I'm just gonna add it up for you guys. A tape measure tends to run $8, scissors, $5, Stitch markers, another $8. Tapestry needles, another $8. Plus like $5 for the tin to store them in. That's $35. These are under $18.
And work. there's room to add more things to it yeah, if you, you like. You can put more stitch markers in there. You can put additional tapestry needles. Because you can see there's plenty of room in here for all of your little goodies. Nice and sturdy tin that locks, won't fall apart, yep. won't open up in your bag. Yep. Custom made, engraved with our logo and a website and what's inside. Um, Lisa, it's definitely safer to buy any of the stitches items that we're releasing now beforehand because you never know what's going to sell out the first day. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it can be the little items because like, okay, think of it this way. Stitches market preview, most of the people that are there are the people taking classes and the people who are now going, I forgot all my stuff. Mm -hmm. And I, and I have class right now. I don't have time to go back to my hotel because it's across town. What am I going to do? They're going to want these. And then they're going to tell all their friends that you need this and this booth has them. So you are going to want to get them now to make sure you don't miss out. Um, the tape measure does fit, but then you have to kick out the scissors. Like it's a either <laughs> or on what fits in the tin. We tried. We, we did. Tried. We tried all <laughs> sorts of different ways to see if we could do it. But tape measures are big enough that they don't tend to get lost in the bottom of your bag as much either. So it works really well to have everything else in here and your tape measure loose. Perfect little thing. I love it. This is, I know this is silly. That is my favorite item for stitches is the little stuff. I like the little stuff. I know I'm a weirdo. It's just stuff that you always need. And it's nice. It's all put together. Just throw that in your bag when you're going. Right? You're like, oh, crap. I got to, you know, I'm going to that party. I'm bringing knitting. And you, yeah, and instead you of going and finding house. all your stuff, you just bring that and you're good. Then, if you want something luxurious that is ready to wear, I have one more item for you guys. So maybe I will do one more wardrobe change to show you guys <laughs> how wonderful these are. But we got in these cashmere scarves that are made in Nepal. I kind of want to lay it out to show you guys a couple of the little details. Like, it's got this really fun, like, looser weave detail on each end next to the fringe. I wish you guys could feel how soft they are. They are oh. exquisitely soft. They're so light too, like you can't really yeah. feel it on your... It's For really reference, pretty nice. this whole scarf weighs 114 grams. That's just over one skein of yarn. But it is 28 by 78 inches long. And you know Boss Lady, she doesn't, you know, she doesn't go... She doesn't go for icky, scratchy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is the soft, luscious, good stuff. They are made in Nepal. They're hand-woven. And you guys know, Danielle always picks companies that are fair trade. The employees are treated well, paid well. The materials are ethically sourced. Like, she always goes for the good stuff on yes. these companies. And they come in these fabulous colors, you will see. And they can be wrapped around your shoulders if you're somewhere really cold, like airports, airplanes, grocery store. <laughs> I freeze when I have to go grocery shopping because the freezer section is no joke. It's I, I just... Climate in there. Yeah. You can bunch it up into a scarf. It's long enough that you could even do like this kind of thing, like the cowboy cowl thing. And there's nothing that says that scarf cuffs are only for hand knit projects. You guys can cuff these too. But I like the versatility of this kind of size. It can be around your shoulders. You can use it as a lap blanket. You can wear it as a scarf, a variety of the different scarf tying ways. And they come in lots of fabulous colors. This one is the green. Then there is got 
gonna slide them out a little bit so you guys can see the color, the beautiful purple. I don't wanna have to refold them all, so. <laughs> going for halfway out is better than all the way out. Cause you can always see the color better through Not nothing. through the plastic, yeah. No. The orchid pink, we called it magenta. They're just so rich I appreciate in color. That they have these tags too that are yeah. the soft fabric tags that say that they're handmade in Nepal and they say dry clean only with your care instruction label. And they're so small enough you can just snip off those that you yeah. don't. You Once know. you know how to wash it, you can snip it off if you want. Um, but then if you're giving them as gifts, because these make a great gift you know they're not going to ruin it the first time they need to wash it because <laughs> it came with instructions attached. Right, Eileen? You know we can't yes. put terrible people out. Then this gorgeous marigold oh. yellow is called yellow. <laughs> they're just so rich in color. Oh. There's really a color for everyone. Then we have the light pink. Ooh. Then we have hot pink, which really we should have just called boss lady pink. Because <laughs> look how rich and beautiful oh that is. Who doesn't love a good bright pink? And then last but not least, this one is my favorite. This is the blue, which is like that sirloin, slightly turquoise, really rich blue. And then I, of course, am wearing green. Purple, magenta, yellow, yellow light, light pink, pink, hot pink, blue, green. and green. I love the green. The green and this gold yellow. Oh, okay. That's pretty. I love seeing what colors people pick because it's not always necessarily what you would expect. Like, I kind of expect the green of you, but the yellow is a surprise. <laughs> it's that golden yellow. Right? Like yeah but these will also be at stitches so we only have a few here in store yes again the, the rest are everything, packed everything today is stuff from our stitches west hall so if you're in love which i know you're in love with something be honest with yourself <laughs> get it now because Stuff could sell out that first night. Easily. Yeah, and we don't have a lot of these. Yeah, these were a smaller order. Like, I think these were something that to have them in time for stitches, they could only be, like, what they would allow her to cash and carry, which is mm -hmm. what you take directly from the trade show and bring home in your suitcase. Mm -hmm. So, you know, get em you only can you bring can. so many suitcases. <laughs> so there is a limited supply of these. They're gorgeous. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, I have to do a quick wardrobe change back for what are we wearing. <laughs> right, Karen? Aren't they beautiful? I mean, one of every color is always an acceptable choice as well. Funny. when you showed the sign for those bracelets it looks like it was this great big eight and a half by eleven sign i'm like where did that sign come from i only remember the little one even you have nothing in the picture for scale so i am wearing the stained glass brioche shawl from art yarns it is two colors of merino cloud um done with this beautiful sequence of you alternate between sections of brioche 
and sections of different lace patterns like this one's more of a mesh lace then this one's got kind of those little like cathedral arch patterns then a mesh lace and you're alternating which color is dominant in the brioche sections like this one is the blues then this one is that plum and then you do a yarn over increase row before you do the i-cord bind off i love that it makes it so you don't have to worry about binding off loosely with your i-cord bind off because some people i-cord really loose some people i-cord really tight i i-cord really tight um whose pattern is this this is iris's pattern it's gorgeous and that yarn over row just makes it so your i-cord bind off comes out amazing and I paired it with a purple scarf puff because it matches perfectly. This is why you have to have one in every color to go with all of your different projects. Yes. And I do not remember what color numbers this is out of. I did this one several years ago, but I'll show you guys. It is a big crescent, good sized crescent shaped shawl. That's a nice size. It's not over. It's not ginormous. It's yeah. a good size for doing this cowboy cowl style because it's not really bulky on the back of your neck because there's nothing like getting a headache because you put too much weight on your neck. That seems so strange. Right? Yeah. And then let me turn the camera around and we'll show you guys what Karen is wearing. Hopefully it's... I have my Sophie cowl or scarf. Yeah. Just super simple little tiny thing. That's the one you did out of that luscious Amano Apu. Yes, yes. So it is so soft. Two balls? So nice. Yeah, just a little over like one and a half balls. And, you know, you can keep going just as long as you, you know, because this part you can always make it wider, just not increase or whatever at some point. Yeah, or you could keep increasing if you want. As long as you end the halfway point before you run out of the first ball, you know that mm -hmm. you're good coming back the other direction. I just saw someone had made one of these, and they did it in two colors. So, like, the first oh, half yeah. and the second half in other colors, so that when you tie it, you can see both Oh, that's colors. cute. That's, yeah, like, I okay. see you making another one now. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. And it's so easy. And then she's wearing her fabulous new name tag. Yes. Thank you. And I've got my... And her bracelet. Because, you know. Of course, you went for the one that's, like, all crystals. Because we don't like bling or nothing. Yeah. Not us. And then there's Susan. On Sidium, which is two skeins of Merino Cloud. Probably because it's freezing back there, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah. This is one of our convertible wrap patterns with this little one by one cable detail. Very easy. All right. Damn Lamb's wearing his rain hat because it is yes. rainy here. It's uh, a little bit going to be a little cold out there. So doesn't want to mess up his wool <laughs> on his on the little tuft on his forehead. <laughs> All right, you guys, because we have so much to do to finish getting ready oh for God. stitches, we're going to go ahead and get signed off, pull your orders, I'll get some more shipping done before the mailman gets here, and then we'll be off to the races. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. We'll show you what we've got going on. Boxes everywhere. All right, Karen's going rogue. Yeah, sorry. Boxes everywhere. Because our little tiny room back there is all of a sudden tiny. Anyway, we'll be here, so come on by. See you soon.